Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Lawn Mowing Simulator. Here we are for another episode where we're going to head off and get a couple of lawns done. But first of all, I want to look at our employee because we can actually train her up um, depending on what we want to do. So she can be time management, advanced driver, le driving level, or vehicle maintenance. We'll go with vehicle maintenance. That'll get her up to proficient. And now. We can only train her once per day, so we can't train her again until tomorrow, but she'll slowly improve like her skills and stuff. Um, we've still got... It um, still says zero centimeters for some reason. Um, let me repair everything. Refuel that for her. Um, Ultra deck. says we don't own it, which is weird. I don't know. Um, and then we go here to our new skag. Now we've got the striping kit. We can put it on. Mulching, we'll put that on as well. Shouldn't need any maintenance stuff. But So she's going to go up a little slowly. Um, yeah, we'll look at that again after the episode, I guess. Now... I would like to go to the next HQ, but we need to save up a little bit more cash just yet. Um, we need to save up more for another mower as well, so we can have three people. And I don't know how many we can employ, but we'll employ heaps eventually. Um, so Crossy Riding School, 1410. Adams Orchard Co, 26. I think we already did that one, didn't we? Uh, Millerbrook Garden, Paddock and B, Crossy Riding School. The Coval Garden. So we might send her out to do this one, and I might do the Adams Apple Co again, but we'll do it with Skag this time. Um, six to seven centimeters. Yep, done. Let's go. Possible of four thousand bucks. Possibly we can earn that much. That would be. Um, Bloody awesome. Huge boost for us. Should be able to get our next uh, mower and even expand our HQ to be able to get another worker as well, which would be great. Alright, so once again, I'll probably um, get started with this. Maybe do some runs uh, with you guys here with a striping kit and just see how it turns out and then throw in a time lapse and I'll bring you guys back at the end again. Okay, so when using a side discharge mower, plan your cut direction to avoid spraying grass clippings on paths and avoid fines. Makes sense. This is where we need a blower in the game because real life, I try and throw the clippings back into the grass but then Obviously, you can't be perfect, so you need to actually come back with a blower and um, tidy things up. Uh, some headphones right there. Nearly didn't see those then. What do we have? Eight objects. Wow, okay. There's one, two, three down here. Or two. Got in a wine bottle over there. Got one there. There's a wine bottle there. There was something else down here somewhere. There we go. Four down, four to go. There's another news. Oh, jeez, lag. A newspaper or something up here. Keep an eye out for the other ones. No, that was she is actually. You can see off into the distance normally. God, the lag is real. I don't think there's anything else on this row. Should be another three, but... Can't see them yet, so... Oh, God. There's a car one up this row, I think. Yep, just there, and then one over near the fence to the left. Here and there. Right, where's the rest? There's one more. Literally just one. Can 
did not see this last one anyway. Alright, oh. Let's have a bit of a look in the distance again. There it is, over near this tree. Perfect. Was it? It was, I thought it was. Oh, there it is. Alright, so we reply returned headphones. Let's have a quick look around and make sure there's nothing else that anyone's left laying around. Uh, tractor. Apples. Toilet. No. Alright, let's get on the vehicle. Uh, do what I normally do. Set up our camera. Start our engine. Uh, I think it was... Yeah, six to seven. We'll cut it seven centimetres. Now on the back, we can see um, the roller. So if I press the right button, the left button brings it up, and takes it down. So we're going to use the roller and see, just see what happens, I guess. So put it down. Off we go. So we'll do. We'll pass around the outside. I don't know how fast this guy's going to go, but it's much wider than the last pole we used, so we should be able to get it done a lot quicker than the last time. And we won't see the effects of the striping kit, I guess, until we've um, gone up and down a couple of rows. Still not quite full throttle. So every time I sort of go full throttle, it starts to bulk down a little bit. So try and avoid going full throttle if you can. Gotta try and be as efficient as possible. That way we're not um, having to come back like we did last time and try and find bits we missed. We didn't even get the full 100% last time. Bummer. We thought we had 99.8% or something, so not quite full. I'll try and pick our speed up a little bit. About 10 kilometers an hour would be good. Fine line though. Alright, we'll slow down obviously for these. Orders and stuff. Yeah, Ten point two, that's pretty good, but bogging down again a little bit. Obviously it's going to be hard to use a striping kit if we're not going to keep them straight all the time. But I have used it off camera just to make sure it works. It it does. You definitely see that there's a striping kit been used but it doesn't make as good an effect as I would have thought and I would like to be honest. I don't think it's really that noticeable. Alright, let's lift the, lift the striping kit up. I'll actually turn off the bar as well. We'll go to this other end. Then we'll start. Actually we should. Yeah, we should be at the other end, shouldn't we? Because I've already gone down this way, we've gone up the other end, so if we go down this other end... I know we're kind of wasting time here, but... Alright. Try to get down. Blades on. Let's go. not driving very straight at the moment. It's still very sensitive. You can sort of see the striping kit's already working. God. This control probably doesn't help either. Right. Not quite. Oh wow. I don't really like mowing this way. Oh, 
cut that fast. Because I'm still missing a lot on that offside. Right, there we go. A bit of a look back up there. We can't really tell yet either. I'm going to go this other end. Actually, no. Um, I don't think it matters, does it really? Got the roller on the ground. Oh, come on, we've only just started the run. I'll try and keep it about 8 kilometres an hour and we'll see. Oh, that's still a little bit too quick for some spots, but you can see the striper kit's working a little bit. I mean, it's hard to kind of tell. But on the far left is where we went up. There's a road next to us where we've come down. Once we go up again and come back down, it'll be more noticeable, I think. I don't know if there's going to be jobs where we have to use a striking kit or not, or if it's just sort of, you know, a bonus thing that we can use. I don't know. Back down this way, you can still sort of just see it. It's not, it doesn't stand out that much to be honest. Just trying to change view a little bit. Try not to hit these trees and try and mark the right spot. See, it's not as um, as striped as I would like. Like, it's not really as defined, stand out as much as it should. There we go, turn left. So we can't, you can't notice it from here. Just. It's still a little bit hard to see, but noticeable for me anyway. Pop the tree a little bit there. What we'll do, one more run up. One more run back and I'll throw in our time lapse. It's still going to be quite a lengthy, lengthy part of this one. Definitely there, you can see it much more pronounced there. You can see the striping kit and how it works. Like that looks pretty good there. Right, then we'll head back down. I think it depends on obviously um, the view you're on too. Can't really notice it there as much. All oh, this view, maybe this view is a bit better. But I can't notice it as much. I'm heading down this way. It's more heading back up the other way that I can notice it a bit more. Is it worth getting? Honestly, probably not, unless the job requires it. Because it just doesn't stand out as much as it really should. There we go, turn around. See it from there. Yeah, it's different. Different sort of shades. Definitely tell it's there, but right here guys, we'll throw in a time lapse here. I'll bring you guys back on there about finished and um, check it out.
Righto guys, we're back. Um, just finishing up now. 95% just about done. You can see, um, oh, too fast. You can see the striping working reasonably well over on the left there. Obviously when I go around the trees and stuff, it, um, it sort of changes the current stripe and stuff, so yeah, it's um, going to be hard to get it perfect, but it's, it's looking pretty good so far, so I can't really complain. I'll have to wait till the end of the job to see how it looks, um, like in the little cutscene at the end there, and see, see if you can notice it a bit more then, I guess. But 97%, I'm not going to go back searching for other bits of grass. Like once we've cut this strip, that's it. I don't know how much of a penalty we'll take by not getting right to 99.9%, .9%, but it's probably going to be less of a penalty than it will be for us to go searching around for that last little bloody bit that we missed. So, I'm happy just to, to let it go. Right, so last run. Had a fair bit of bogging down in the engine. Oh, the blades, I should say, which has slowed us down a little bit. I'm sort of just trying to keep it about 7 kilometers an hour. Not getting more than that, and it seemed to bog down too much, but like here, we should be able to hammer this because it's only like half a strip. It's really not a full strip of grass, so we should be able to hammer straight through it. Right, there we go. So 99.7%, I think. Look, I'm happy to go back and get little bits and pieces that I've missed. I think I did see a big bit down here somewhere. Maybe not. Yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not that worried. It's just going to be little bits and pieces like that that we've missed, which is just, yeah, tiny. An absolute waste of time, so... Just under 40 minutes it took us. We don't need to reverse back onto the trailer, we can just drive straight up and on. And yes, we'll exit the contract. So we'll see how it looks from this view if it's... That's not really the angle for it, is it? That way it needs to be the other... Oh, the birds are frozen. It's hard to see. Bit disappointing actually because we've gone up and down and this is showing like the other angles so can't really see the strip anyway that's a bit of a bummer just hoping to get a half decent screenshot looking at some um, the roller kit in action but it's not gonna happen We'll load in and see how we went. I did have a few a few collisions and stuff, so hopefully not gonna to be too bad. Alright, come on, loading time. Still pretty pretty bloody slow at times. So our next HQ, I don't know if we upgrade and get our next HQ straight away, or does it take a little while? I don't know. Um, ground check bonus, ground check earnings, cutting time bonus, none. Valuables recovered, 50 bucks. Uh, 550 in collisions, so a little bit as far as collisions. Um, how did Layla go? She recovered valuables, which is good. Ground check earnings, 3150. Collisions as well. Still 1,268, so can't complain, honestly. She's um done pretty well. Let's upgrade her advanced driving. So she's a little bit better. Quickly go to our HQ. Um, I forgot to change this back. Because I did turn it down because I was watching YouTube on the other channel. Um, we can get that. Which will drop us down to three grand. 
boom, there we go. We'll go to our next, our next little workshop. And I think we should be able to upgrade again. Another 1500 bucks. It says HQ fully upgraded. Did we just buy that? Oh yes, we did. Okay. Three bays. So we do have... What the hell? We've got one of, th uh, one of three available. Okay, good. Can we afford another... We can afford another mower. Um, I don't know what to go with. Honestly. Ah, the Steiger. Let's go the Steiger Estate. Uh, let's look at another employee. Um, expert, proficient. Let's go with Hannah Owen. We'll hire hers. Her, I should say. Um, and then she can use the Steiger, obviously. Is there any? There's no attachments for that. Let's quickly do all our repairs and refuels. 36 pounds, 12 pound, 4 pound, and 1 pound. So you've got attachments, but I don't think this guy has it, no. Okay, cool. So now we have three employees, which is great. Um, I don't know if we can upgrade or not. This is insufficient funds, but I thought I said that we were full. I'm not sure if we've still got three days before we um, go to that next level. I would like to get some extra RP. Let's do it. Let's go printed media. Get that extra RP and um, try and boost up our rank as quick as possible. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the time lapse and that sort of stuff. Uh, if you prefer me to do maybe a couple of send the girls out on the bigger lawns and I'll do the smaller stuff. That way we can get one or two lawns done per episode but smaller ones let me know uh, but if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so it's been pretty thanks for watching see you again soon